So in this video, I want to show you a useful technique when you're dealing with a lot of data. So I've had a few students complain, um, understandably, as they've been working on this data set right here, Amazon Lawn, Lawn and Garden Review. So I downloaded this. You might remember from another video. Uh, there's a researcher, um, UC, and I can't remember where she was from, UC San Diego or somewhere like that. Anyway, put together a data set of Amazon reviews, and I grabbed a subset of it of just the reviews about lawn and garden products, but even that was gigantic. And I wanted the students to analyze the text of the review to try and predict the actual rating that the reviewers gave it. So they pre-process the text and then they try something like extract n-gram features or latent Dirac light allocation, and it just goes and runs forever. Now I'm only at just under a minute, but some of theirs were running for like 20 minutes. Sometimes there's different times of the day where Azure ML Studio is just a little bit slower. There's a lot of people using it, especially if you're on the free version of the, uh, of the tool, it can just take forever. So the truth is, if I'm trying to predict something like their rating based on the review text, uh, I don't need millions and millions of records to do that. I can come up with an R squared value with something much uh, smaller without taking up tons and tons of time. So here's how we want to fix that. I'm going to stop this experiment from running. And as soon as it stops, we're going to grab something called partition and sample. Now, if you've been watching all my videos, there's a good chance you've seen this already. And maybe you've just forgotten about it, or maybe you don't watch the other videos, which is fine. Here's what I'm going to do with this. Let's grab the data, pull it into this one, pull it out of here into pre-processed text, and tell it rate of sampling 10%. So there's a bunch of different sampling methods we can assign to folds. Uh, there's different techniques that'll use this, like um, uh, evaluate, uh, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, but there's a few other techniques. I won't go over all these now that are useful for now. This just means grab me 10%. And you can put in some random seed if you want to to make, uh, make it a, always the same 10%. But anyway, this is useful. Do you want to do a stratified split? So in this case, I'm going to say no, but let me show you what true looks like. So you may have, for example, uh, reviews that are coming from all over the world. And the truth is you want to control for uh, the effect of U.S., for example, saying that 90% of our data set are reviews that come from U.S. customers. But I don't want that 90% to sort of overpower or have a too big of an effect. I, I'd like to, to look at culture uh, or country of origin and understand differences. If I want to understand how that ch plays into the reviews people write, I need a somewhat equal sampling across different countries that the reviews are coming from. That's what a stratified split does for you. It'll say, uh, I can select right here, for example, if I, had a, if I had a column that was for country or location of the review, I could say, give me a randomly select 50% from the U.S. and 50% from whatever other country I was looking at. That's a stratified split. Or I could do it for something else like um, product name. That'd be a good one. I could say I want a random, uh, I, I want across all my products, I want to have a random um, set of reviews that are stratified evenly across all possible products. That's what this would do for me. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit false and uh, run this. And let's see how long it takes after using the partition sample. I'll pause the video. Okay, so it finished. Oh, I wish you'd tell me. Oh, well, it finished in a minute and 38 seconds, which is pretty good because the student that came in uh, looking for uh, a bit of help said that he had run this on this exact data and he got to 20 minutes before it finally finished. So anyway, partition sample, great technique to help you uh, reduce your data set down. If you're just looking for uh, uh, a quick idea of what type of model you can come up with and what type of effect size you can come up with. Uh, use a partition and sample to make it run quickly. That's it.